Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be answering your questions that you submitted to ask hashtag AskJake on Twitter. So I've screen capped your questions and I'm going to be answering them. So let's get started. First question we have, what is your favorite game on Xbox? And if you could go anywhere for a week, where would you go? Just curious. Um, my favorite game on Xbox, I'd have to say is Call of Duty. Um, Simply because I'm just, basically that's the reason I started playing Xbox was because of Call of Duty. Um, I started out playing Modern Warfare 3, so I'm a little, you know, I was a little late to the party, but um, I've had every game, every Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 3. Um, I even went back and got, I think it was the first Black Ops. Uh, so, uh, I've been playing that ever since then. And where would I go for a week? Absolutely, I would go to Kauai. It's uh, one of the Hawaiian islands. It's where my dad lives. I lived there for a little while, and it is just paradise. It's absolutely beautiful there. The beaches are insane. The food's incredible. The fish is so fresh. It's unreal. Um, it's absolutely my favorite, my favorite place on the planet, uh, the island of Kauai. When you're on tour, will you still take video of the final bow on stage? I plan to. I have my GoPro that I will be bringing with me. So yeah, I plan to uh, hopefully get a little more video than just the final bow. But yes, I will be capturing you guys out in the crowd during the final bow. So, yes. Why did you guys stop using BC Rich guitars like your signature Mockingbird, for example? Um, I will show you exactly why. Because this is what it looks like. Basically, they never were able to get my design right. Um, I wanted, if you've seen my lesson for New Religion, I have the, the BC Rich guitar with the my face painted on it, and it also looks cracked. So the cracked mirror look I was going for was that look, and instead they kind of did it like a stained glass window, it's all curved, and the lines, it's just, it makes no sense. It absolutely looks ridiculous. And uh, I mean, it's a cool guitar, like I liked it, and it, you know, it was cool, but they just weren't, they were not able to build a guitar to my specs and it just was not, it was frustrating. It was just not happening and we were butting heads because it's just, they weren't pulling through with anything. It's just, they kept dropping the ball over and over and over again. And I mean, they're rad looking guitars and I, I, I loved playing them, but uh, I'm a Schechter guy. I have been since I started. My first nice guitar I bought was my black C1 Elite and I modded it with EMG pickups and I've been I've had that guitar ever since I would never ever sell that guitar um, so to be able to go with Schecter and have my own Schecter signature guitar it's a dream come true you know the Schecter nails it uh, they made my first guitar and I wanted to modify it and, and update it basically for 2015 boom they did it and now that version is available so they're, Schecter is killing it. They're a great company. Love the dudes at Schecter. Um, have you ever have you ever written fan fiction about another band or band member? Hell no. I don't even understand or know why fan fiction ever started. It's I think it's the weirdest and creepiest thing. Jake, if you had another dog, what breed would you like it to be? Um, boy. I don't know. I mean, I like bigger dogs. I've got small dogs because I, I would feel bad. I live in an apartment building, so I would feel bad having large dogs here. I, I'm not going to have larger dogs until I have... I mean, I've grown up my whole life with large dogs. Um, but I need to have a backyard and a house. Uh, so these guys need a backyard. Um, they're wild. They need to be able to run around. So um, I don't know. I love all kinds of dogs. Uh, Australian Shepherds are great dogs. I love Black Labs. Um, I would love to get a Boxer or a, a, you know, a Doberman. I think those would be a great dog. Um, but I don't know. I'm pretty damn happy with Ernie and Trixie right now. So I'm, I'm good in the dog department. What's your favorite smoothie? The peanut butter and jelly smoothie. If you haven't seen my recipe for it, go to my Get Me Fitness YouTube channel. You can check it out. You <laughs> Out of all the music videos you and your band, Black Veil Brides, have made, which are your favorite? Mine would be The Legacy. I would agree with you. I think The Legacy is my favorite as well. I really like the Goodbye Agony video too, but The Legacy is just badass. I love that video. How have you evolved, and what makes 2015's Jake Pitts different from 2012's Jake Pitts? Uh, well, I pick my nose a lot more, apparently. Um, <laughs> no, just kidding. 
I mean, I probably picked my nose just as much as I did in 2012. While I'm older, um, I might be just a tiny bit better at guitar now. Um, I'm doing a lot more than maybe I was in 2012. I don't party like I did in 2012. I'm a lot healthier than I was in 2012. Um, probably a lot more mature than I was in 2012. I don't know. There's a whole lot of things that's different about me. Um, I don't really know how to answer that question. There's a lot of things different. But, uh, you know, I'm still the same guy. Down in, at heart. I don't know what that even means. Any advice on how to eat clean on a budget? Advice would be, it really doesn't cost any more to eat clean. Actually, eating clean is eating pretty bland, plain food. So, um, eat real food. Don't eat canned shit. Um, you want to get, uh, you know, depending on if you're vegetarian, vegan, you eat meat, or whatever. Uh, a basic idea is, for carbs, eat rice and sweet potatoes. Those are pretty cheap. You don't need a lot of money to buy rice and sweet potatoes. If you have a rice cooker, you can get bags of rice for like 99 cents. Um, sweet potatoes are a great carb source. They're very healthy for you. There's so many benefits of sweet potatoes. So those aren't very expensive either. Um, vegetables like spinach and broccoli, those are really great. Um, you can even get them frozen. Uh, and then for meat sources, just eat you know, fish like, uh, you don't want to be eating farm-raised fish, like tilapia is a cheaper, you know, great lean protein source, but it's very often farm-raised, that's why it's cheaper. Um, spend a little bit more money and get things like wild-caught salmon, or you can get like ahi tuna steaks. If that's too much, get skinless boneless chicken breast. It's that simple. Get skinless boneless chicken breast if you're going to eat beef. Guys! Can you ever not make noise when I'm in the middle of making a video? <laughs> anyway, hopefully you can hear me over them going <laughs> under the futon. Where was I? So, protein sources. Things like skinless, boneless chicken breasts. Um, if you're going to eat beef, get 93.7. It's the uh, leanest beef you can get. But things like ground turkey, uh, like lean ground turkey, 99.1. Um, just chicken. Get skinless, boneless chicken breasts. Um, that is like a typical healthy bodybuilder's meal. Basically, abs are made in the kitchen. And if you eat shit, you're not going to have abs no matter how much you work out and run and all that shit. Um, Anyway, it's really not that much more expensive to eat clean. Uh, actually, typically, you can spend less than if you're eating a bunch of frozen pizzas and bagel bites and all that horrible, nasty crap that's really bad for you. Wow, you know who sent Ask Jake trending in the U.S.? I do. Well done, Jake Pitts BBB. Mind blown. Who trended? it? Who trended? it? Um... Yeah, I guess I screen capped that because that's pretty cool. Uh, went trending. I sent Ask Jake trending in the U.S. Well, you guys did. That's awesome. So thank you guys for doing that. That's pretty cool. Baddest, badass thing you've ever done. I went skydiving one time. That was pretty badass. But I think it's pretty badass that I jumped out of a plane at 16,000 feet and free fell for a minute. Uh, that was pretty badass. I don't know. What do you eat the most on tour? Probably, you know, it, it's simple. Again, it's like things like rice, chicken, and veggies is basically what I eat the most of. Um, Quest bars. <laughs> Quest bar a day keeps the diarrhea away. What's your biggest fear? Uh, my biggest fear would be in, to get in a plane crash. Ask Jake shows up as trending topic worldwide at rank two. Woo! Baby, thank you guys. That's awesome. Rank two. So does that mean that's like the second one from the top worldwide? If so, that's crazy. You guys are nuts. That's so awesome. What are the best and worst things about touring? Uh, the best things are that I get to play guitar every single night. I get to play awesome songs. Be up in front of people who actually want to 
see me and watch me and hear me play. The worst things about touring, uh, two things. One, uh, not being home with family like Ella and my dogs. Um, I actually get to see my other family probably more being on tour because I get to actually travel. My family does not live in LA, so um, I get to see them with traveling and being on tour. So that's another great thing about touring is I actually get to see family, like cousins and you know, a sister and, and other people on tour more than I do off tour. Um, and yeah, I miss these guys. Oh, hello, Bugs boy. Say hello, Mr. Bugs. Hello, Mr. Bugs. Mwah. Um, the other thing that's really horrible about touring is being on tour and having diarrhea. Oh, it's not good because you can't shit on the bus. So you have to shit in trash bags and that's no fun for anybody. What bands you wish you could touring with and why is it? I think you should tour with Trivium Official. It's great. Uh, I, you know, I say it again and again. I would love to tour with Avenged Sevenfold again. That was a fun tour. They're some of the most down to earth, coolest guys on the planet. Love those dudes. So I'd love to do a tour with Avenged Sevenfold again. You're allergic to Iris Cherry, right? Well, you can't be allergic to yourself. Do you watch American Horror Story? Um, I've seen the first season. I actually uh, ooh, caught a fish. It's a big Ernie fish. Ooh. Um, I watched the first season actually in one day. Uh, we had just gotten back from South America and I had what uh, you might refer to as Rana, Rana, Montezuma's Revenge. So I was kind of bedridden and uh, had to stay real close to a toilet. Um, hello, boy. So I had Netflix open and I literally just watched the entire first season uh, on my laptop. Now I started the second season and I couldn't get into that one. It just got really boring to me. I think it's the Asylum one. I think it's the, I think it's called Asylum. I got really bored so I stopped watching it. However, I hear the new season, uh, I'm not sure if it's Coven or what. I think I heard Coven's really good. I'm not sure if that's the third season or fourth, but then the one with Twisty the Clown, I hear that's insane. So I plan to watch it. What would do if the world was ending tomorrow? I would spend all of my savings. I would go out and rent a Ferrari and drive that thing around. Um, I would fly Ella back, hopefully, because uh, she left yesterday. So hopefully she would get here before the world ended tomorrow. And, uh, I don't know, I... That's such a tough question. What would you do if the world was ending tomorrow? Honestly, I'd probably be playing video games and not doing anything different. I'd be like, well, shit, that sucks. If you're stuck in a situation where you had to eat your best friend to survive, would you? Ernie, they're asking me if I was in a situation, would I eat you? Would I eat you? No, I would never eat you. I could never eat my dogs. Was it hard being a kid when you were growing up? Uh, yes, it absolutely was. Uh, I'm not really going to go into it because my childhood and my life is a very, very long story. Um, it would require me to write a book. And who knows, maybe I'll write a book someday. But uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, I went through a lot of shit as a kid from a very young age. Uh, all the way growing up. Uh, there's always shit. There's always shit in life. But, there's not always bad shit in life. There's good shit too. So, you just gotta pay more attention to the good shit than the bad shit. Do you know what shipping is? Is this right? Do you know? Oh shit, I think my phone's here. <sighs> no food, just a mailman. So, do you know what shipping is? Huh? Do you know what shipping is? Are you only getting one sock done or do you plan on having your whole body tattooed one day? No, I will probably do my other leg eventually. You know, I did one arm, then I did this arm. Um, I'm going to do this leg as I've gotten it started. Oh, Ernie, you smashing your face, boy. So I started my leg. I can't really pull my pants up any further, but 
I've got a long ways to go with this leg. So I'm going to focus on doing this part first. I don't know what I'll have on this leg yet. I don't know what I'll put on my back. Um, I don't know if I'll do my hands and knuckles. We'll see. Time will tell. Is there anything you don't like about touring? Diarrhea. Having diarrhea. For sure having diarrhea. Um, what else? What else? Diarrhea has got to be the worst thing about touring. Not having a functional toilet. Um, the, the fact that you have to time your shits. You can't just shit whenever you need to. And if you have diarrhea, that's bad. Are you happy how far you have come with Black Veil Brides? I've worked since I was a 13 year old kid, picked up a guitar. Um, this is what I've wanted to do. I hope that Blackfield Brides continues to grow and become a bigger and bigger band and we get to play bigger venues and put on bigger shows and more people come. Um, and the whole BBB army grows tenfold. That would be fucking awesome. Uh, is that even, is that the right term tenfold? Or does that mean collapsing tenfold? I don't know. I want it to expand ten times. One thousand times. A million billion times! What's your favorite game mode on Advanced Warfare? Oh, I like that question because I'm a nerd. Um, honestly, I've just been playing Team Deathmatch mostly. It's straightforward, just whichever team gets the most kills wins. If you could play any other instrument than a, a guitar, what would you play? Um, well, I do play some other instruments. I play drums a bit. Uh, I wish I had a, I want one of those electronic drum kits, one of those Roland V drum kits, but they're really expensive and I literally have no room for it. So uh, maybe one day I'll have one of those, but uh, I play drums, I play bass, I play guitar. Um, I think if I could play any other instrument, I would want to play piano. There's my food. Is this the food delivery? Okay, I'll be right out. Food is here, yay. The guy would not leave me alone and I signed it and then he's like, oh, tattoos, and this Asian guy and he was asking me all about my tattoos and where I got them done and then had me typing it in his phone. The play. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. How old are Trixie and Ernie? Trixie will be seven in June and Ernie, Ernie is turning one on February 8th. So he's almost one year old. He's a little baby still. If you could be any woman for a day, who would you be and why? Um, if I could be any woman for a day, I don't know. I would have to really sit down and think about that one. Hmm. That's kind of a creepy question. Because generally when you get that question, you think like, oh, I'm going to do dirty things to myself if I could be so-and-so. I don't know. I'd be a really powerful rich woman that has like a ton of money and I would blow it all. I would ruin that person's life. I would just blow all of their money. That's what I would do. I wouldn't want to ruin anyone's life though. If you can go back to any time period, where would you go? thing about time periods are we progress as we go forward, so I don't know. I'd be curious to kind of see what the future is like, except for I don't want to go too far where everyone's just burning up and dying because the temperature is raising on the planet or something. I don't know. Um, I would go back to the time period when people actually buy records. That's where I would go. On a scale of 1 to 10, what's your favorite color of the alphabet? What's your favorite TV show? Um, I don't really have one right now. I'd have to say Breaking Bad was probably one of my all-time favorite TV shows. I just haven't had time to watch anything, so uh, let me know what I should be watching. What's your favorite fruit? Bananas and blueberries. What was the first concert you went to? The first actual, like, legit show I went to was when Slipknot first came out. I went and saw Slipknot. There was a band called One, I think it was called One Second of Silence or One Minute of Silence. I don't, never heard any of them ever again. And then there was this uh, little band that nobody had ever heard of yet. They hadn't even put out a record yet and they were called Mudvayne. And uh, they were the opening band. So uh, that was the first legit show I ever went to. And of course I was dead center, front, not front row, like up against the barricade, but I was like a few rows back. 
and Slipknot came out, they opened up with Sick, and I got, literally went flying. Um, the biggest circle pit opened up, and I would happen to be right in the middle of it. And I got sent flying, skid across the floor, I was like, whoa! But the cool thing was, there was some dude right there to pick me up and ask me if I was alright. Will you ever go sky jumping? Is that the same thing as skydiving? Sky jumping? Is sky jumping like bungee jumping? Or is it skydiving, like jumping out of a plane? I've never been bungee jumping, but I have jumped out of a plane. What's the best prank you personally played on tour? On who and why? Um, okay, this one's really stupid. We've probably done something better, but um, uh, my, my buddy and my Get Mean Fitness uh, business partner, Matt Yanni, uh, he was our security uh, guy for many tours, and uh, we, CC and I would always mess with him, and uh, we would always be trying to play pranks uh, on him. Um, it's it's not even that good, but I thought I found it hilarious. Um, I took his pillow out of his pillowcase, and I got a bunch of paper towels and just kind of like bunched them up, so it was not like a lot of paper towels, but just a little bit, and I stuck them in his pillowcase, and kind of fluffed it so it looked like his pillow was there and it was like hours before but when we were all like going to bed he got in his bunk I'd hear what the fuck and it, we just started cracking up just dying it was it was pretty funny what is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done well not full-on like log but it's like shart your pants more than once Lead guitarist of an awesome band, guitarist of the year, what is left for you to aspire to? So many things. Three Kerrang Awards, three Golden God Awards, and an APMA. A APMA, PMA? I don't know what they're called. Uh, an AP Award. Um, that's all because of you guys. So that's awesome. Um, what is there to aspire to? So many things. I would love to be headlining arenas, I'd love to play stadiums. I don't know if that's ever going to be a thing for any new bands, which is why it's so important for you guys to buy records and support rock music because we need it. We need the support. We can't let it die. If you guys don't buy the records, it's just killing the music industry when you download it for free. Um, if you don't buy records, nobody's going to give you a budget to make the record. So um, we need that support. We need the community. Uh, we need people to get together and rock and actually be a community again and not be so against each other and, oh, this band sucks and, oh, you suck, we're the only good band. There's no community, um, no camaraderie anymore, and we need that back. Um, so that's something to aspire to. I, wanna, I want the community and the camaraderie to come back. There's Grammys. I'm so sick of all the, like, the rock winners of Grammys or whatever. It's like, come on, like... People like rock music. Give actual rock music a chance. Metal, you know. Um, everything's just pop this, pop that. I'd love to be headlining arenas. Um, it would be so rad to be up for a Grammy, but I don't ever expect to do that because I'll have to write a really shitty song to be nominated for a Grammy. I'm not saying that people who are nominated for Grammys have shitty songs. I'm... I don't mean that at all. I just mean compared to the style of music we play and compared to what normally wins Grammys, I like our stuff better. To keep climbing the charts. We don't have a number one record yet. That's a huge thing. I want a number one Billboard 200 album. A number one. The closest we've gotten is number seven? Number seven. We have two top ten records, but I want a number one. I also want a platinum album, so please buy records. Hey, somebody, oh, hey, some people, Mr. Bugs, oh, me, oh, 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 okay. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about touring? Diarrhea, diarrhea, cha cha cha. Definitely diarrhea. How often do you get recognized as Jake Pitts from Black Veil Brides? out in public. Um, I mean, it depends. It happens every once in a while. Uh, you know, I was at Target in West Hollywood and the cashier dude that was ringing me up 
like was looking at me funny and then he asked me he's like can i ask you a question i was like yeah sure he's like are you in a band I said yes and he goes what band i said black Flag brides and he started it's like oh and i was like okay do you not like my band or is this good and he was like that's so awesome and he was like oh i met andy and cc and i was like cool um nice dude or whatever it happens uh it happens quite often more when there's a couple of us together um, individually, it's kind of like, oh, that's a weird looking guy who's probably a, in a band or something. But when you put a couple of us together, it kind of, people go, wait, oh, that's, you know, they can recognize us a little bit easier. Do you read letters you give to fans? I, do I read letters that I give to fans? I think you might have meant to ask, do I read letters that fans give to me? If that's what you're asking, uh, yes, I do. Actually, my dad accepts fan mail. Uh, he has the address on his Twitter, and he sends me stuff. Actually, just in my vlog, uh, hey dude, can you get out of my gaming case? Um, I just got home today, actually, and Ernie had chewed up the envelope that my dad sent me with a bunch of fan letters. Luckily, the fan letters didn't get chewed up, so I can still read those. What do you enjoy most on tour? Not having diarrhea. That's really great. Not having diarrhea makes tour so much more enjoyable. Also, the shows are great. I would love to play and sell out Wembley Arena in London. That would be pretty sick. Oh, I guess that's my last question. So, Mr. Bubs, come on up here and say, what do you guys say? What do you guys say? What do you guys say, boy? What do you guys say? Trixie's behind the camera. She doesn't want to be on camera today. Girl, what you doing? So, Ernie says, Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna eat my daddy's nose now. Ow. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, I answered your question. I'll be doing more of these, so uh, you know, if I didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll get it next time. But uh, like always, subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. The this guy hit that. Share the video with your friends, and. Always be sure to check out my other videos. I've got tons of content on here. I do vlogs. I do guitar lessons. I do gaming videos. I do random shit. Challenges. Uh, I'm, you name it. I'll probably do it. So I get dogs that eat bones on me. Um, I have a fitness YouTube channel. So I do all kinds of stuff. Roam around my channel for a while. Watch a bunch of videos. And, and click all those like buttons and, and that subscribe button and ah, Mr. Bugs Boy. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. So click on something over here. Click it. Tell him to click it, boy. Tell him to click it. Click it or you'll steal your bone. Alright guys, I'm out. See ya.